Timothy Apple, my boy. We share the same last name, not Apple. It's Cook. If you didn't know any better, I could call him my dad and it would make sense. But Marky Mark Zuckerberg has the dad title. Love you, Puck. Apple has announced the Vision Pro. And while I don't really like talking about hardware on this channel, how the f*** do you ignore Apple of all people releasing a headset? Zuckerberg quaking in his pants right now. I'm not going to go into each technical spec like I'm f***. XQC talking about tech setups or anything, but I am going to go over some things from the event, some things I think look interesting, some things I personally don't like at all, and most importantly, I'm going to try some of that apple goodness Timothy provided. and I spice getting a run for her money. God. Hey, want to listen to some tunes? Hey, yo, we have this this cool product called the Quest 3. It definitely isn't spying on you this time. Oh, shit, my bad. My name is Mark Zuckerberg again. This is the Quest 3, and, and it's really cool. Hey, I'm I'm Timothy Chalamet. I mean, I mean, Tim Cook, and this is the Apple Vision Pro. It also does some really cool things like watching non-NSFW video and definitely, and I mean, definitely not sending nudes through iMessage. I promise that's not going to happen. And hi, I'm Viewy. My computer's still broken, so we're, we're doing it in person this time uh if you want to talk to me and other gamers like myself you should join the discord and also if you want gamer events and special cool things that patrons get you should join the patreon that is all tell your dad i said hello so the apple vision pro comes out next year and honestly i'm pretty excited for the set set to release i'm not really one to use that many apple products i've had an iphone 11 and airpods pros that i use for the gym but that's about it however i was one of those kids that had an ipod growing up hey guys today i'm gonna be showing you how to like edit your minecraft uh like so you can get like diamonds at the very very beginning Man, up. Minecraft Pocket Edition never hit so hard on the iPod Touch 4th Gen. The main focus of this headset is AR applications. Personally, for me, I'm huge on gaming in VR, so this really doesn't do it for me. While the idea of using iMessage or other iPhone apps that are floating in my play space is a cool idea, I don't personally use my phone or tablet for more than a couple minutes. Here's proof that I actually really don't care about my phone. I have a screen time of two hours. Yes, I am bragging. Thank you very much. To give Apple some credit, if this UI is anything like it is in the trailer, that's sick. I've personally never used eye tracking, so I'm just going to assume eye tracking is cool, but here's the real thing I'm excited for for the Vision Pro. Thinking back to the OG iPhone, this was the moment that the modern day smartphone was born. Yeah, touchscreen phones existed before then. Shout out the IBM Simon. All my IBM Simon fans rise up. This is the start of the next generation of consumer hardware. Even though the Vision Pro is obviously super f***ing expensive, you really shouldn't be looking at this like a Quest 2, and I know most of you have probably already heard this, but I'm going to go off on this tangent like you're completely new to the scene. If I say something you already know, so be it. But the way I see this headset isn't like the Quest Pro, and it's definitely not a Quest 2 competitor on any level. But I see this more as like a laptop or a tablet replacement. I would never recommend buying a MacBook or the iPad with this headset as well. If this can already use all the same apps that your iPad and iPhone can run, then you should just pick up this headset instead of an iPad if that's what you want. It's like those headsets that are just secondary monitors that aren't really actually VR, but the basic definition of a head-mounted display. Again, I'm not ragging on Apple. I think once we get Get something like the vision pro but at a much more affordable cost It'll have all the same potential that the iphone had it definitely doesn't have the potential with the price more than i paid for my first car that's not a joke shout out 2000 pontiac g6 owner but this really could be something special now, count of three, we're all gonna put in case you couldn't tell videos have been a little bit different lately that's in no short thanks to my pc being broken and that fat f no longer working at the moment i mean it works but the pc doesn't work so obviously i can't use it so we should be back to, uh, into the radiusing, breaching, all sorts of things. Because even though it's been a savior, this is not exactly ideal for, uh, when, when you have one of those. Anyways, thank you all for watching. PC should be back up here soon. And we'll be back to gaming. Thank you to our mega rich patrons, Greg, Gain, Vexy, Denasi, and Only Mints. And of course, thank you to our budget friendly patrons as well. Tim, you're definitely not watching this video. But being as we share the same last name, it would be real cool if you just casually invited me to tour Apple Park. I don't want a free headset, just a simple tour. It doesn't even have to be from Tim himself. Con content, people. We're in the content business. Love you, Timothy. See you soon.